Ultragenics is a company focused on developing treatments for rare and ultra rare diseases. And it was founded 10 years ago and now has over 850 employees and has four approved programs uh, and is globally launching those products around the world. We have, we work in gene therapy as well as other technologies and our goal is to develop as many rare disease treatments as we can using any technologies available. Most of our disease that we work on have no approved treatments. And so we're looking for situations where we're the first and we're developing something new. And I think that's a common feature. I think many of our diseases are in the either inborn error space, the bone endocrine space or neurology, but the commonality in those that the stories are relatively simple stories. And usually it's something missing that we're replacing or something that's too high that we have to knock down. We kind of look for those simple stories where we can replace what's missing, whether it's using a protein enzyme or a gene therapy or knocking something down like with a monoclonal antibody. And those simple stories tend to have a higher probability of success where you can actually change the future for a rare disease and do it in a very powerful and meaningful way. MPS7 is certainly a probably the smallest complex rare disease product that's gotten developed in the recent past. And it definitely changes how you approach the development itself. First off, it's hard to find enough patients to get participated in trials. They're scattered all over the globe, meaning you have to move people around and sometimes they don't even want to move around. It is challenging because many of the MPS7 patients were disconnected from the MPS community. They weren't even aware that enzyme therapies existed. And so we had to do a lot of beginning relationship building with patients and getting them connected even to patient groups. So that's what happens when disease is that small. It gets lost. It's lost and forgotten by patient groups as well as by everyone else. So building those relationships and developing it takes time. Now, the other important piece of the story is actually figuring out how to design a trial, how to develop a product for a small population like that. And in the story for development of MEP-SEVI, the enzyme therapy for MPS7, we innovated in things like design of a small titration program to determine what the right dose is. We also used a novel clinical trial design for phase three and a novel analysis tool that was more powerful for very small rare disease populations. Because the trial had included everyone we could find, the population was very heterogeneous and so our analysis method allowed us to capture efficacy from each patient where they could provide it and allowed us to get a positive result with a trial of only 12 patients. So those innovations I think are hopeful signs that you can change the future for rare diseases when they are so small that the methods that have been used in the past are not going to be viable.